Waldman has made a career out of exposing Amber Heard and his latest revelation is a massive one. He claims that Amber tried to blackmail him with a threesome with her girlfriend. Amber has always been open about her sexuality, but little did we know she was this nasty. Adam Waldman has been at the forefront when it comes to exposing Amber and her lies, so it only makes sense that Amber's tried to silence him. And this is what she came up with. That is truly disgusting. Waldman is a well-known lawyer in America who also works lobbies. He has represented Depp previously during his divorce proceedings. He was later removed from Depp's legal team after a judge found out that he was leaking private information. Not only has he tried to grill Amber on the court, but his efforts have continued off the court as well. Waldman had told the British news outlet that Heard committed a hoax when she called police to their apartment in May 2016. In an article published on April 8, 2020, Waldman said, Amber Heard and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both sword and shield depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp, Waldman had said. Quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. But things didn't end there for Adam's pursuit of getting Amber behind bars. A few months back, Adam dropped hints on his Instagram profile about being in Australia. This was around the same time Amber was facing a perjury investigation in the same country. According to many people, he was there to present key evidence and ensure that she got jailed for her crimes she had committed in Australia. This must be when Amber must have desperately offered Waldman something to shut him up. Something that we feel was sexual in nature. On top of the facing bankruptcy humiliation and loss of employment, Amber could definitely not have Adam Waldman sent her to jail. So, she blackmailed him with a threesome with her girlfriend at the time. Now that news may be shocking to many, but Amber does have a track record of using the same tactic before with many other people, as pointed out in this tweet that reads, Amber, so many of us know about your background. Before you met Johnny, you go around dropping drugs in your friend's drinks at parties. You're known for this. You're also known for having plenty of threesomes with very wealthy men. And I'm not talking about Musk. People know. According to the Daily Mail, Josh Drew, the ex-husband of Heard's best friend Raquel Pennington, has divulged some highly personal details. Musk had a brief connection with Amber Heard when she broke up with Depp, according to the tabloids at the time. Drew has now discovered that Cara Delevingne, Musk, and Heard had a threesome in 2016, which took place in Johnny Depp's attic in Los Angeles. Even if the actions by Hollywood couples are no longer surprising, the celebrities are nonetheless wedded. Other evidence found in these documents indicates that Heard and Delevingne had a relationship, and Depp will be able to call the model to testify based on all of this. Musk, who welcomed his sixth child in May, has categorically denied that the threesomes ever met. Kara and I are friends, but we've never done intimate things. She'll confirm. I want to confirm again that Amber and I only started dating about a month after filing for divorce. I was never close to her during her marriage, Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, said of his connection with Heard. He claims he also tried to counsel the two bickering actors in addition to putting in an end to rumors about his love life. Regarding this lawsuit, I would recommend that everyone involved bury the hatchet and move on, he added. Life is too short for such extended negativity. Nobody's going to say after it's all over that they wish the court battle had lasted longer. But it's obvious that he was also trying to cover this up and normalize things. It's more than plausible to assume that this threesome between Amber, Kara, and Musk did indeed take place, and Amber used this to blackmail Musk later on. This may be where she got the money to not only fight the case, but also maintain a lavish lifestyle throughout it all. But what does Waldman have against her that would force her to use the same trick against him? Well, there's a lot. He's been very vocal about Amber's secrets and was well on his way to getting her jailed in Australia 
before he surprisingly stopped. In June 2019, Mr. Waldman told The Blast, Miss Heard continues to defraud her abused hoax victim, Mr. Depp. The hashtag MeToo movement she masquerades as the leader of and other real abuse victims worldwide, the countersuit states. The following month, Mr. Waldman is quoted as telling The Blast that Miss Heard went to court with painted on bruises to obtain a temporary restraining order and telling people that her battered face was a hoax. The countersuit then cites several statements Mr. Waldman made to Daily Mail in April and June of 2020. Amber Heard and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both sword and shield, depending on their needs. They've selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp, he said on one article. So it is clear that Waldman isn't a huge fan of Amber's, but now the actress is facing more legal trouble in Australia, where Waldman was only a few months back. News outlets shared an official statement from a spokesperson at the Australian Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment. The Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment Department is in investigation allegations of perjury by Ms. Heard during court proceedings for the 2015 illegal importation of her two dogs into Australia, the statement read. Heard brought two dogs, Pistol and Boo, in May 2015 when she was married to Depp without declaring them despite the country's police strict quarantine policy. The actor was charged with two counts of illegally importing the animals in July of the same year. However, the case was closed after pleading guilty to falsifying travel documents. But it seems like Aussie authorities are still pursuing the case, and this is where Adam Waldman has a key role. Not only is he a very competent lawyer, but he also has more knowledge of Amber than anyone else, and he could prove to be instrumental in building a case against Amber. Hence, Amber had to stop him before he did more to damage her. This is why she offered him another threesome that she could later on use to blackmail him. The news of Adam Waldman being in Australia to put Amber behind bars made a lot of waves when it broke. Social media was very quick to respond with one Redditor posting, Adam Waldman dropping hints on Instagram about a potential Amber Heard perjury investigation in Australia. In the comments below, another fellow Redditor wrote, If Oz goes after her for perjury, she won't be welcome in any Commonwealth country until she goes to court in Oz, which she will never do, so what the UK does doesn't matter too much, they'll be forced to deny her entry. Waldman is just trying to unleash fury on her. He's been hinting almost every day, added another. Trying to blackmail wasn't Amber's first choice, it seems. She first tried to bully him into submission. An old tweet of Amber Heard went viral in which she was seen mocking Waldman for his height after the lawyer alleged that her claims of domestic violence was a hoax. Heard said in her tweet, Yes, Mr. Waldman, I may be wearing makeup on this occasion, but on every occasion you will still be short. Heard's tweet was in response to Waldman's social media post, which has since been removed by the microblogging site following the suspension of his account. Reacting to the suspension of his Twitter account, Waldman has taken to Instagram to write, Unpopular ideas can be silenced, but inconvenient facts kept dark without the need of an official ban. The press extremely centralized and most of its own wealthy men who have every motive to be dishonest on certain topics. On Instagram, Waldman has more than 82,000 followers and has his account verified with a blue tick. Waldman had also served as the chairman and president of Endeavor Group, a Washington-based firm engaging in delivering innovative consultancy solutions specifically tailored to each client's needs. He really is a big fish, but Amber was foolish to think she could lure Adam into a threesome. Waldman is happily married to Barbara Strum, who is a German aesthetics doctor and the CEO of skincare brand Dr. Barbara Strum. The lawyer has four children, including three daughters and one son. He would never ruin his family over the likes of her. Reacting to the jury verdict in Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard case, Waldman wrote on Instagram, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We were caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. 
Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Martin Luther King Jr. That's it for today. Should Amber be behind bars for all the crimes she's committed? Or does she deserve a second chance? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again with more updates on everything. Goodbye!